Yeah guys, welcome yet to another Runesoft tutorial. Today what we're going to be looking at is our uh, installation for WAP and WAP. Uh, so I, I start by navigating to my desktop. I need to oh, I need to navigate to my desktop and uh, clear this out. So uh, what I'm going to do is to make a directory for my two folders and that's uh, SpoonWAP and uh, SpoonWPA. Uh, my file already exists, but in my in, in your case, it should uh, it should be the only file that has been created. So I uh, I download our uh, uh, SpoonWeb with wget. I correct the HTTP, and as you see, it's already it, it's coming. It's uh, it's downloaded. Take some time, but then it's done. So, as that is done, I have to uh, change this to HTTP, and uh, I need to download SpoonWeb. So I navigate to my desktop, clear this out, and uh, I need to make an extraction for my downloads that I've, I've, I've ha I have. So I use uh, the LZM to directory. So I point to my uh, Dia that are I created that is spoon WPA so it gets extracted and it's done and I have to do the same thing for uh, for my uh, spoon web 2 so I just change this to spoon web 2 and uh, I also change this to spoon web 2 and bingo it gets done so uh, What we have here is that uh, we need to copy to the respective uh, uh, the respective uh, um, user binary that are inside our folders of, uh, of both folders that is Spoon Web Two and uh, Spoon WPA. So I navigate to my uh, uh, user ex ex user binary files and uh, then uh, the bin folder, and then I have to create two two files that is a uh, Spoon Web Data. SH. I'm leaving the code just in the description if you need it, just right there. So I save this, make nano, spoon WPA, that SH, and I paste this, save it, and I need to make sure that I, I change the permissions because uh, they have to be accessed by the system. So I change mode 755 spoon web that sh spoon wpa that sh and then it's pretty done so if i make uh, an ls grip command i can see that i have my two folders ready for uh, execution and with uh, full permissions to execute so i need to move uh, this so that it can um, reflect on my menus I need to access it from my menus so I put I use the command and uh, I have to change uh, my uh, uh, spoonweb.desktop file so that it can access my uh, the two the two scripts that I've just written so I navigate to where it's kept and that is in uh, USR slash share slash applications and we can see spoon web desktop spoon WPA desktop so I go ahead I copy it and uh, start up my nano my nano editor start up my nano editor and uh, I'm ready to execute this I just change the execution to uh, just to put a, a .sh for my file and I'll do the same for spoon WPA and the desktop I come down and change uh, I just change I just add .sh save it as the same sorry save it and jump out of this so uh, I change the permissions Change mode 755 spoon wp uh, spoon spoon web the desktop commerce spoon spoon sorry uh, spoon wpa 
WP the desktop also. And having done that, uh, we have uh, an executable that is ready to be reflected in our menus. So I update my menus with update. Uh, update my menus so that they can keep up to date and uh, hopefully it's really done if I go right here and check down to my maintain uh, to my radio network analysis uh, down to all then I can see the two of them they're already here bingo it's already done I just give thanks to our to our to two users that is our Ryan Parry 90 and uh, I don't know how to call this, uh, how to pronounce this, but it's uh, A L B O T R G. Thanks a lot because uh, you sent your request and I was able to research about this. I hope this video was, was helpful to you. Uh, it's Ronsoft. Please subscribe, rate, and comment to my tutorials. Thank you.